we lack the equipment to be able to um, do that air quality monitoring. Um, we are just in process of establishing a network um, of systems that will be able to give us that information. Um, our our um, immediate action right now, our strategy is that we are going back to the diffusion tubes. Um, we're going to place them in strategic locations um, so that we could start to have at least build that baseline information that is needed for us to start to understand what's happening. So you did say that the, the threshold was above international standards. Um, what are some of the effects that that can cause on the population? Um, well, you know, once you hit a threshold and you go beyond that, um, the more uh, vulnerable population, those with um, um, lung problems and stuff like that, um, are the ones that are going to suffer first. Um, I can't really say exactly how that will impact because that um, our w role would be for us to provide the data, we share that information with the Ministry of Health and then they will be able to say what is exactly some of the um, things that we could expect out of um, those 